did do do pylon two. I thought it would be. I'm not gonna go in there just yet. Pylon three we could go to in a very short while, but first security door Atten Crack on, my friend. Let me take care of this. Maybe we should have Disciple open a few doors, make him feel, you know, welcome into the party. I bet he feels like a spare part, just following me around like a lap dog. Wow, this is a pretty big area. What is it? What is it indeed? Maintenance. I am now the maintenance worker, it seems. Health and safety. What was the other one? Dock authority. Dock maintenance. It's all part of my uh, repertoire. Multi talented. Hello, droid. It's busy. Didn't even turn around when I spoke. How rude. What's this? Metal boxes. Power. Ooh, let me take a wee peeky peeky here. We've got some adept rules which I didn't see. For defense bonus one, two to constitution, dexterity, and strength. Nothing to do with wisdom though. What do I have on at the moment? Um, <clears throat> where is she? There she is. The Jal Shay. Defense bonus of three. Defense bonus of one. That's rubbish. Uh, dexterity of plus four. The Jedi Master Zetro. Nothing about that. The reflex, charisma, one wisdom, three regenerate. Well, that's obviously my own addition. But we've got persuade and stealth. Reflex saves. Even the Jedi Master robe, I just don't like the look of it. I just, I, just, I think this is still going to be Shalar's choice. Anyway, let's get back to Aten, shall we? Apparently, what was this power armor? <clears throat> Powered battle armor. Oh, it's heavy armor. Ooh, pretty nifty, but uh, not good for for him. Not good for Aten. So if we uh, move onwards. Another busy droid giving us the cold shoulder. Hyper battle stimulant for those battles that require that extra edge. Just say the word. Oh, sorry, disciple. I forgot myself there for us. I was supposed to let you open the door, wasn't I? Ah, dear. Call it habit. Okay, so we've got another door full of places to go, and we have pylon three, I think. So we'll go in there first. Looks more like one of the Sith to me. Who are you? Maybe I'd better run a check on him and the Jedi. There can't be three of them on the Smuggler's Moon. Hanhar. I thought I smelled something. I told you before, hunt your own targets. Don't scavenge mine. What, working for the hut suddenly made you stupider, Hanhar? You touch me, you'll break the truce. And then you won't last long enough to slip off this moon.
wonder if it's some kind of strange courting ritual. Hmm. He really likes her. Well, these two idiots just stood there gawking, making me feel uneasy. Their leering eyes. What's this? Wait a minute. What's this? Stripped of the package. Oh. Am I in a trap here? Maneuvering flaps. Still looking for this ID signature. <clears throat> A transponder card from another ship or a blank transponder card. I wonder if them flaps are what I would... Ah. Malfunctioning droid it looks like. Don't worry. Ah! Fight saver time! Shala. Uh, would you care to move? You what on earth? I'm gonna attack it for some reason. Whoops, a daisy. Attacked by a seemingly malfunctioning droid. Somehow, I think we better report this back to the Bith scientist. I think he wants to know at the very least. Yeah, better go back and report the news, eh? How very strange. If I can remember the way. going on? Oh, the Bith arm? Is that his arm chopped off and he's holding a data pad? <laughs> Bith scientist's quarters. Found signal. Droid attacked me. It's deleting my data. We'll try to get away. What the hell's going on? This is all my completed quests? Is that the end of it? Oh. Well, at least I get to keep the 500 credits he gave me. <laughs> Every cloud and all that. Right, well, not my problem. Looks like he got himself in deeper than he, uh, than he really knew. So there's still a little bit more of this area left to explore. We'll uh, crack on with that. See what more trouble we can get into. Now there is actually a uh, power console here. So we've been into each of the uh, pylons, so let's just have a quick play with this. See if it has any bearing on things. Okay, optimize power distribution. All pylons are now active. Oh, what have we done? Power shortage. We've fixed the pylon power supply at the Nashadar docks for your computer skills. Wow, so we've done something good. <laughs> I don't know what it, what purpose it serves, turning the power on. 
but uh, I suppose I've, one thing to try is going back into the individual pylon rooms and seeing if these consoles now hold any extra information or functions. Ah! Examine freight ID signatures. Ooh, what's this all about? Signature of the freighter Silver Zephyr. Only partial signature legible. Uh, Turner Profits. Only partial. And Freighter Alacandor. Full signature. Could we use this for our ID card? Perhaps? So the Freighter Ala Alacandor. So maybe we have to find a blank transponder card first. I don't know if you've got one of them. I don't believe we have. It'll be a quest item if we did have it. Uh, airspeed navigation interface. We've got an administrative ID card, but no, that's, that's nothing yet. No. Okay, we'll keep an eye out for it. But yeah, potentially one of these ID signatures we could use Is in need of me? Uh, for the for that particular quest. But there's two more pylons to go, so there's plenty more information for us to uh, have a look at. Silver Zephyr, same things again. Alaconda. Now the Alaconda is only partial. The Turner's got the full signature here, and the Silver Zephyr's partial. What's this? is like a little game, isn't it, here? And I bet you in the final one, the uh, other two will be partial, and the f first one will be the full signature. How bizarre. Vogger's Enclave. Seeing the big fat man himself. So the Silver Zephyr should be the full signature, yep. Yeah. That will be a partial, and that will be partial. Okay. So, uh, there's obviously more to do <coughs> with these pylons and meets the eye, but we'll find out later, I assume. Okay. Uh, what does it think? What does it look like I'm doing? Going out for a morning stroll? Leave me alone. The journey shall be long. The rowage is not molested in dust, but I must get the runs of my hand in the pants to call me okay. Hmm? Is that a threat? I wait to see what's a turn of an air mash that the new one here up an hour and I didn't even ask them what the new one and now I'm a new one and I'm a new one. Huh. Well, maybe I was a bit hasty in my defensiveness. Should be grateful you're trying to save my life. Hmm. So how exactly can I get in then, if I want to uh, sample the delights of this cantina? to chance it? Die of exposure to poisonous gases? Not the ideal way to die. I'll try... oh. Another bith. Grotto no ranga manatandi grotto. Hopi una wana si jin si wano bush. Hmm. What are you doing in here? Grotto no ranga manatandi grotto. Ah, I see. I see. So if I try, maybe if I help him with his problem with Gotto, 
I might get some fuel for Teal or Citadel Station out of this slobbering idiot. Right. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, what's so interesting in all of this? It's all coming together nicely, isn't it? Isn't it just? I was also trying to find a fuel source for Citadel Station. Isn't that a coincidence? Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> Once I convince Volga it's safe for his freighters to operate again, I'm sure he'll be indebted to me. Mm. You underestimate the powers of the persuasion that a rather good looking woman can have on many people. Ah, David me. Who are you? Oh, yes. Mm. I have a very good reason. Very good reason indeed. I want to speak with Vogga to let him know why I'm here, obviously. So if you please inform him that he has a guest. Shall I'm not looking very impressed here. Having to discuss her matters with a lowly doorman. Yes. But I suppose if it's a way in, she'll grit her teeth and divulge the information. Telling him that she's here about the freighter hijackings. Sure, that'll get Bogger's attention. <laughs> Oh, and so the doors open and we are free to go into the warehouse. <laughs> right, okay, so there's two ways to go. The warehouse or we can go into Bogger's Lair and start discussing business. Trying to procure a fuel source for Teela's uh, Citadel Station. And we've come to the end of today's session. Yes. Enclave and warehouse. So, as I say, one way or the other. I'll probably go to the warehouse first, and then I'll head into here. So join me next time, and we shall do just that, and hopefully we'll uh, have a nice long conversation with a giant slug. So, uh, see you then.